If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this episode, we are going to see an excellent plugin called JMeter Viewer for IntelliJ IDEA. If you are working on IntelliJ IDEA, whether it is a community edition or ultimate edition or any other IDE from uh, JetBrains, this plugin supports. So this will be very helpful in case if you want to take a sneak peek of your JMeter test plan without launching the JMeter. So this will be very helpful only if you are working in the particular IDE because you don't want to launch JMeter every now and then. You can just install this plugin and then you can see the elements of your JMeter test plan. Some of the projects I involved which needs to write some you know Groovy and Java code and also at the same time I will have the JMeter test plan in my IDE. So in that case definitely this plugin will be useful for me. This plugin doesn't have any loads of options, just two. One is you can use the default JMeter which is coming along with this package or you can set your JMeter path. For example, you might be using 5.6.3, then you can set your JMeter path in the settings and it will use those uh, JMeter package. And also if you go to this particular GitHub repository, you can see the code behind this and also some screenshots and instructions. So now let us quickly go to IntelliJ and go to settings and uh, click on plugins. And if you search in the marketplace, you can also see the JMeter plugin, but this plugin, I installed it directly from the GitHub source. And if you just click here, you can see the version 1.2.4 and uh, screenshots, what's new and other details. Now, if you just uh, type for JMeter quickly here, you can see the settings. So right now it is using some internal version 5.5.1. I don't think this is the right version. You can double check. And in case if you want to use your own JMeter version 5.6.3, the latest one, you can set the JMeter path and uh, it will take from the JMeter home, I guess. So you have to enter the uh, details here. So now let us use the internal built-in, you know, JMeter version and click on OK. And so on the left side, I can, I have opened the sample JMeter test plan. As you see here, JMeter 5.6.2 bin slash examples. And if you just double click on the JMX file which you want to open and it will open the actual elements within the IntelliJ idea. But here the one caveat is it is a read only. Suppose I am going to change this third group name to say third group one then the changes will not make effective in the file. Basically JMeter is an XML file right. Whenever I make some changes here it will not get reflected in the actual file. It's just a read only. This will be very helpful only to take a sneak peek. So what's going on in your uh, JMeter test plan? How many elements? So those kind of things. And it supports all the actions. So, so for example, if you click on add button, it will keep adding and you can also enter here. So everything it supports, but it will not get saved in your disk. So that's the only caveat. And also you don't see the menu bar. So at the top, there is no menu bar. You cannot run. This is only to see the elements of your JMeter test plan from the IntelliJ IDEA so that no need to open JMeter GUI. This will be very helpful. It will save some time and definitely please give a try and let me know what you are thinking about this plugin. And also I spoke with the developer. I gave some suggestions on how to, you know, include some additional features on this particular plugin so that it will be very helpful for the performance engineers. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.